Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in sunny Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have a car that may prove to you that big things come in small packages. This is a 2020 Chevrolet Sonic LTRS. Let's talk a little bit about the Sonic. So the Sonic is the main competitor that's gonna go up against the Kia Soul, the Honda Fit. And what Chevy is saying about this Sonic with the RS package is that they want to give some style and they want to give some fun drivability to the car in a way that you could actually maximize the room inside. Now, what's interesting is that RS, if you know your Chevy designations, it stands for Rally Sport. It's straight up an appearance package. There is no extra horsepower or anything like that. But one thing for sure with the RS badge on it is that you are gonna get some unique styling cues to separate it from the rest of the Sonic crowd. Now, for sure, this one is in a Skittle eye-popping color known as Oasis Blue. But let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2020 Sonic RS and see if it's really good competition for the fit and the soul, if this could be, should be your choice. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice the styling, Chevrolet doing some styling cues to keep a brand identity very, very unique and, and synonymous to them. Headlight design, very large. You can see the uh, projector beam style in there. You know, I, I have to be balanced with this review, uh, with, with how we're looking at the car. It is a Sonic, so large headlight design, I think it would look more aggressive with something a little bit smaller. And it's gonna be interesting to see where Chevy takes this vehicle when they go to redesign it. But I would like to see the headlight housing be a little bit smaller. You do have fog lamps down low, which is nice, but where we are gonna zonk is this little triangle corner here, this fake vent. I think if they would have just made this a little bit smaller or larger with the flat black, it would have looked a lot cleaner. But we come across that front grill area, you have the iconic Chevy bow tie. I like the blacked out look. There's your RS badge. RS stands for Rally Sport. Now, what's interesting is that this is all fake grill. So to kind of balance out what the front of the car looks like, they decided to go fake grill. Little bit of chrome trim here, and then a large black center area. Obviously, hiding behind this is gonna be structural uh, bumper for that protection in a crash or whatnot. But you do have your open area down below. It would have looked nice. I wish with the RS they would have added a little bit of a lip spoiler, this being a Sonic RS. Uh, but definitely has that cute look to it that fits in perfectly with the competition. Now when we go up onto the hood, very unique body lines. You have very light and subtle and then it gets prominent and kind of V's off towards each A-pillar. Gives it actually some identity to the front of it which this could be lost in the sea of vehicles very easily but in this oasis blue for sure you're gonna pop <laughs> whether you want it or not very very prominent fender line all the way around now when we're looking at the wheel and tire combination this is a 16 inch wheel it's an actual wheel it's not a hubcap machine aluminum dark gray what's nice about this tire and uh, wheel setup is that it's a 60 series tire. So you have a lot of meat there. If you're a first time buyer, if this is a vehicle that you are using as your daily driver, uh, if you bump a curb or whatnot, you're not gonna have to worry about scuffing these wheels because you have a lot of wiggle room there, so to speak. But I do like this very prominent body line. Now, as we go down the side, you do have some flat black mirror caps match that, that Oasis color. Roof line is actually quite low compared to what I thought it was going to be once I was standing next to it. You have the chrome trim all the way along the bottom. And I do like the way that Chevrolet integrates the door handle right into the actual door itself rather than it having it stick out. I think one of my favorite parts about the side of the car is this lower sill extension. It has a really nice look to it and gives the side of the car some definition, which this could just be straight slab. But you can see there's some nice body lines going on. Like I said, to, to help the car stand out, you have that rear fender body line as well. Now, when we get to the rear of the car, you have a low roof spoiler, drop down your black Chevrolet bow tie, the Sonic badge, very, very large taillights. And I feel like these taillights are a little dated because of the amount of chrome. They almost look like something from the early 2000s, maybe the late 1990s. So I am gonna zonk that, but I do like 
that exhaust tip. It actually fits the back of the vehicle. I know that sounds crazy, but fits the back. It's a slash cut, a little bit like a vacuum style, but not too crazy. The flat black is clean. You got your RS badge back here, but why don't we go ahead, pop the hood and see what's powering this Sonic RS. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but remember, we're talking about price point. This is something for somebody, like I said, to have a lot of bang for the buck. Now, underneath the hood is a 1.4 liter Ecotec. That is Chevrolet talk for turbocharged power. So this is a 1.4 liter inline four turbocharged engine, 138 horsepower, 148 pound-feet of torque. I think the best news that I heard all day about this car is that it has an actual six-speed automatic, not a CVT. The car weighs around 2,857 pounds, zero to 60, around 8.5 seconds, and then MPGs, 26 in the city, 34 in the highway. Like we're talking about in this review, if we're looking for a car, a daily driver, a great first car, something that you need to actually move some things. Believe it or not, this car, you'll see when we get to the interior, move some things around. Is this the best bang for the buck? Definitely when it comes to the engine setup, like I said, six-speed automatic transmission. Why don't we go ahead, let's check out that interior though and see what is offered with the Sonic RS. All right, guys, we're inside this 2020 Sonic LT RS. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, I've been looking at Honda Fits. I've been looking at Kia Souls. How much is this Sonic LTRS? The way that you see it optioned, you're looking right at $21,400. Let's see what you get for the money. Now on the door panel, there's a lot of hard black plastic. And that's the thing that you're gonna find at this price point. It's all dark. The good news is, is that it's gonna be easy to keep clean. The bad news is there's a lot of gloss black right where you have the switch gear for the windows. So that to me is a, is a zonk. You do have a very large cup holder there. You could easily put a super big gulp, gulp or a super slurpee and a Twinkie in the side and you could wash it all down as you're driving down the road. Now, when we get to the dash area, it's very, very far forward. It's kind of a unique experience sitting in here. You do have the silver trim around the AC vent. Here's something fun. You actually have two glove boxes. This could be your glove box. This could be your snack box. Run your Twinkies in there. Maybe put some Snickers, some Reese's peanut butter cups. And then up here, you have some toothpicks to pick all that junk out before you kiss your girlfriend. It's all hard plastic though. The good news is it's got some texture to it. Now, when we get to this center stack information center, this is where things have a really, really large improvement. Now, what's interesting is you actually have a pocket here in the side. So if you have some backup snacks or maybe you want to put your phone or your wallet or something, you could actually fit in here. It kind of threw me off at first. I'm like, wow, are we missing an AC vent? The AC vents are located nicely here. The best part of this interior is definitely this infotainment system. And this is where the Honda Fit is going to lose out big time. You do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Really, really nice touchscreen features. The screen is so clear. There's your start stop button, a little bit of silver trim around here. This is where you lock and unlock your doors. So easy to get to, very simple, straightforward AC controls. There is a bit of gloss black, but I think it actually adds a little class to this area right here. The screen though, super clear. Another little cubby down here. You do have two USBs and for the world's smallest phone, you could slide it in here. Other than that, you're gonna probably put a Jolly Rancher or two. This is gonna control that six-speed automatic transmission. I like the silver. You do have, believe it or not, lane keep assist. You have an ability to shut off traction control. Good old e-brake, two cup holders. There's your traditional Chevrolet key fob. Unlock and lock features. What's underneath door number one here? You do have a 12 volt, kind of far. If I'm gonna run a radar detector, which I don't know if this car even speeds, but if I'm gonna run a radar detector or something, you kinda of have to run the cord kind of lard, uh, lard, large, uh, long distance here. But you do have a cup holder here, so you could actually have three drinks and one for the back, the people in the back, if you have people in the back. Seats, this is what you're getting on the RS trim, the red, the red stitching, it's all cloth, very, very durable. Manual controls for the passenger over here, but for the driver, you have actual power electric seats. And you do have, I do like, probably my favorite part is the RS badging on those floor mats. That's a nice touch. 
But other than that, you have a ton of space in here. Why don't you come on over to the business center? I want to show you behind the wheel of this RS. All right, guys, now what's interesting is that you actually have an unlock and lock switch for the driver over here. Your passenger has to use the one in the center, but you as the driver, you get to use both if you want to. You don't have to reach over there, which I don't know why you'd ever want to, but you do have a six-way power adjustable seat. That's a nice touch. The seats are very, very comfortable and very supportive. Tons of headroom in here. Steering wheel, I'm actually liking it. On the RS, you're getting a flat bottom. You're getting that nice contrast stitching with the red. It looks like a baseball, the RS logo. Horn button is a little weird shape, but you do have very nice and easy to use thumb controls. Steering wheel does tilt and does telescope. That's a nice touch. And then the gauge layout is actually clean and straightforward. You have a digital bar graph over there on your left for fuel, a tachometer, analog, analog speedometer. And then you have another information display that you could actually toggle through different things on that right side, which is really nice setup to have. Clean, it's very, very clean. Doesn't look super duper dated, which is really nice. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the back seat and see what kind of room your passengers have in the Sonic RS. All right guys, back seat time in the Sonic. What's surprising is that it's actually easy to get in and out of, even if you're taller, you do have plenty of headroom in here. You're not gonna be wanting for more headroom, I promise you that. On the backs of the seats, you do have a little bit of a notch cut out to give you a little bit more leg room. I did not move the seats forward to kind of give you an idea of how much leg room you have. And this seat is actually tilted a little bit more than what you'd probably be, but you can see how much knee room I have. Only one pocket though, for $21,000, I think Chevrolet could have added another pocket. So that's a Zonk. You do have that one cup holder. Hopefully nobody up front is borrowing it from you. And one thing I forgot to point out up front, you have no armrests. There's no armrests. There's a captain's chair armrest for the driver. Good news is it's thick enough, but for the passenger, you're gonna have to sit like this, or like this, or like this. Those are your three choices. Another area I'm gonna zonk it, and I'm just trying to keep this apples to apples comparison, no USB back here. You do have the 12 volt, but the challenge is if somebody's using the 12 volt, just like the cup holder, you're gonna be out of luck too on that one. And just like up front, there's no armrest back here. So let me go over the three seating positions. Here, here, or here. But why don't we go ahead, let's open up the hatch area and see how much cargo space we have in this pint-sized Sonic. All right, guys, here's where the Sonic is gonna earn its keep. And like I said, do big things come in small packages to open up the back. It is manual, so you're gonna have to use some of your muscles. Hopefully you ate some spinach like Popeye said. But when we open up the back with the seats up, surprisingly, there's quite a bit of room. And if you're the person that wants some hard numbers, you have 19 cubic feet of space with the seats up, if we go ahead and fold those seats down, and it's actually quite simple. You just push that button and flop it down. I'm gonna go behind Tom here, and we're gonna get this other one down. Now by doing this, here's the killer news. First of all, look at that. That's as flat as flat can be in the back of a vehicle. 47.4 cubic feet of space. And remember, the, the better news is that you have a ton of room here from the actual floor of the cargo area to the inside where the headliner is. If we lift this up, what's underneath? Look at all that storage. Can you imagine how many boxes of Twinkies and little Debbie snacks we could put back there? Unbelievable with the size of this vehicle. But why don't we go ahead? We talked about what it looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like, why don't we go ahead, let's take the Sonic RS for a spin. All right guys, we left Dimit Chevrolet. We're in the 2020 Sonic RS. Let's do a little acceleration test on throttle. So it did take a few seconds there for the six speed to drop down and get you going. The interesting thing is there's a lot of other cars that we've driven on Radies rides are actually slower than this Sonic. Uh, RS, but uh, handling wise, I do like the feedback coming to the steering wheel, and the steering wheel itself is great. It almost, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, it almost feels like it's out of a Corvette. The thickness of the steering wheel in this RS trim uh, has a nice overall uh, feel to it. But the thing is, is that the transmission, like I said, it took a while for it to drop down. The good news is, visibility and space in here is awesome. Visibility out the front is great. 
sides, the rear. The, the challenge is for your passengers. They have no armrests. The captain's chair style armrest for the driver is quite substantial and I feel pretty good in it. But the rest of the people in the car are gonna be miserable without an actual armrest in the center portion for their left arm. Uh, of course, their right arm, they can put it on the door armrest, which you hear that? That's the armrest. So I don't know how pleasurable that is, but super smooth, which is great. And overall, it's pretty quiet in here for this type of car. Uh, I think the, the best use of this would be somebody, like I said, maybe somebody who's new to driving, just got their license, uh, maybe uh, bought their first car, maybe you've had a license, but you haven't had your own car, bought your first car, or somebody that needs to really get from point A to B. You don't want a big vehicle because you're trying to maximize your MPGs. You can maximize the space in here by laying those seats down flat and that's gonna give you a lot of room in here. But super smooth. I do like the seats. The only thing that's weird about the bottom portion of the seat is that you can't tilt it down a little bit. It feels a little bit high um, for the lower portion. And I think the zonk I'm gonna give it is, is just like I've zonked on other cars. Power bottom, but manual back. On the driver's seat, I think they should have an electric back as well. Infotainment, easy to see, easy to get to, easy to understand. Plus you're gonna have the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto, and you have tons of connectivity in here. Uh, and lots of storage place for snacks as well. That snack compartment above the, above the glove box is perfect. It's spot on the money. Um, but it's one of those things that if you're looking at a soul, if you're looking at a venue, if you're looking at a fit, you might wanna definitely take a look at this Sonic RS and see how you like it. All right, guys, here we go. Making a left-hand turn. I'm gonna take this a little quicker. On throttle. So like I said, you know, there are slower cars out there and this car isn't meant to be a land speed record holder. What it does for someone is that it's gonna give you lots of versatility in a very, very small package. And, and I think that definitely Chevrolet hit the nail on the head with giving you the versatility. Would I buy this over a Honda Fit or a Kia Soul? I don't know. Uh, I think that the Kia Soul, interior-wise especially, blows this thing out of the water. Um, and I think the Honda Fit, of course, is gonna have that Honda reliability that everybody loves. But I think that at the right price, if you can negotiate it and you want something different, Definitely add this to your list for the small subcompact uh, hatchbacks. But hopefully this gives you a nice over overall view of the sign. Can you see on the highway, it cruises nicely. And I'm telling you, it, the wind noise is, is not bad in here. The plastic is a little bit glary, especially that front portion is a little too much glare off of it for my taste. Um, I wish they would have used the same dash material. But other than that, I mean, I feel very comfortable driving this Sonic uh, down the road here. But we're going to go ahead and get back to Dimit Chevrolet and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been another wonderful day here at Dimit Chevrolet. I definitely got to thank Raheel and the rest of the crew here getting us this Sonic RS competition. That's what it's all about. It improves the breed. You can go Honda Fit. You can go Kia Soul. We got the Hyundai Venue. I think this Sonic definitely brings a lot for such a small vehicle, but really it's up to you at the end of the day what you want out of your dollars when it comes to your car buying experience. But if it's cars like these you wanna keep seeing on the, on the channel, small pint-sized cars that have a lot of interior room, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. We had a challenge getting Big Guns McGee in this Sonic. His arms are just bigger and bigger every time I see him. But we got it done. The Sonic came back a winner. Thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.